Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new review video for you. This time I am reviewing the Safari Limited Wild Safari Chimpanzee. This is set number 272229. And the tag labeled this as chimpanzee, but this looks like a chimpanzee mother and baby. The uh, figurine was first molded in 1997 and I picked this up from a store maybe in 2006 or 2007 or 2008. I don't remember exactly what year I bought it. The figurine came with this tag attached to it. It says Wild Safari Chimpanzee. Inside Here's some basic information about the chimpanzee, including the scientific name, Pan Troglodytes, and some other information about the chimpanzee. This information is in English on this page, and the same information in other languages. On the back, I cannot see the manufacturing information because it has the tag or sticker added by the store. It looks like I bought it from the store of knowledge and I paid $3.99 for it. Now this was about, well, almost 15 years ago, so I'm sure the same thing would be more expensive now. And I do remember buying it from this store, from a shopping mall, because at the time I bought it, it was going out of business. Let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. It looks like the longest point is at the bottom there with the front paw and uh, back paw, so it's about three inches long. And it is about an inch and a half wide. And to the top of the head of the mother chimpanzee, it looks like it's about two and a half inches tall. But with the baby attached to it, the total height of this figurine is about two and three quarter inches tall. Now I like the figurine. I bought it because I needed some primates or apes to add to my display. Now I like the uh, sculpting where it shows the fur all across the body here on the head here and the arms the body and the leg some fur sculpted on the back yeah, even the baby has some fur sculpted on it all across the body here on the belly it has some manufacturing information where it shows it's a chimpanzee molded in 1997. Now I do appreciate the attention to detail on the paws. It looks like on the bottom of the feet uh, there was some effort made to sculpt the individual toes. However, it didn't come out very clearly here on the bottom. I do like the hand here. Some very nicely done there. Now it doesn't have to be very detailed on the bottom of the paws or the hand because I normally display it standing up and I never see the bottom of the paws. Now notice the uh, arms here are just a little bit flexible and the same thing with the uh, back legs just a little bit flexible. Now I don't want to bend it too much because I would be very unhappy if I broke it. 
Now the faces of the baby and the mother there, I'm not sure I'm not sure that the detail or the painting is the very best. But normally I look at it from a distance. So the detail doesn't have to be perfect there. So I'd like to compare this to another figurine that I have already reviewed. Uh, this is the African elephant. Let me back up a little bit here. There we go. Now, I don't think that they scale very well together because the chimpanzee, when it's standing on its legs as tall as possible, it's about five and a half feet tall. Like, almost as tall as a normal human being. So, here on all fours, it is much too big compared to the African elephant. The African elephant here is the largest animal or land animal in the world today and the chimpanzee is actually smaller than a human being so it should not look nearly that big. So there it is. This is the Safari Limited Chimpanzee. Thank you for watching my video. Please like the video. Please leave a comment below the video. And please subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future video reviews of figurines from different animal or from different companies that make animal figurines. Until next time, bye everyone.